Hi hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel CSE Genio. In this tutorial, we are going to set C C compiler with Microsoft Visual Studio Code, our favorite text editor. There is so many tutorials in YouTube, but they look very much complicated to me. So I made this tutorial for you guys. Hopefully you can enjoy it. So make our C C compiler ready. First of all, we have to install our existing Visual Studio Code or code blocks if it is pre-installed on your device. In second step, now we have to go to any web browser like here I am using Microsoft Edge. Go to the search bar and search for VS Code. Click the first link. Download first one as you are a Windows user. Here I am downloading it. And if you are a Mac or a Linux user, you can choose your right executable file and download it. Now we are waiting to finish our download. Our download is completed. Single click on our file to install this. Now follow this process and installed accept this license or wait for the installation when we have successfully installed vs code now our second task is to download another software which is code blocks starting for code blocks Then click on the first link, go to the downloads option and the download binary release. Scroll down and download for Windows, though I am using Windows operating system and download with uh, WinGW setup file. Where is it? WinGW setup.exe. Now click on FOSHUB with our WinGW setup. and download will start automatically or you have to click on codeblocks download including 64 bit compiler okay after completing our download we have to click again on it to install codeblocks with compiler Okay, we have to follow this to install code blocks. After completing, we can either choose run it now. So I'm clicking code blocks run now. I'm running it. So it is shown as that already JDL GCC compiler, which is so for C C is downloaded. So click on OK, then finish the work. Okay, now I am associating code blocks with C types. Now we are going to test if our code blocks ID is working. So for that we are create a new file and save this file. And write a simple code to check if is it working or not so this program basically print hello world so click on build and run and it shows successfully that hello world is printing so our work is almost half done so click on and exit now I am opening VS code to customize it for running C++ file So, first of all, save a file name c.cpp and I'll try that. Is it exactly working? 
so here it shows it uh, install recommendation extension so i'm installing the cc plus plus extension pack and after installing this i have to install another extension called kudrunner to easily run the c plus plus files so search here for kudrunners now uh, click on first link and install it After installing this extension, go to this PC and find for the our installation path of our compiler. Then go to desktop and local file and search in program files. Go to code blocks, then mgw and go to bin and click on this path and copy the path. After copying the path, go to your search bar of windows and search for environment variable uh, edit the system environment variable then click on environment settings then click on path for user variable and add new copy and paste the link which one we previously copied now go to the system variable and do the same process so press on ok and now we are testing if our vs code is perfectly working or not so let's try to write a simple code to test the compiler i am writing the code for printing hello world let's see guys Now click on run code for running this code but this time it shows G++ is not recognized as an internal or external command. So for overcoming this error we should run this code in terminal. For doing this we have to go to setting and search for run in terminal and scroll down here code runner run in terminal check it now we will test our code again this time change this icon and just simply run code this time it is also showing some error message to overcome this error we just simply need to restart this ID. Now click on search and again open this ID. Now we can see that VS code is perfectly running. So that's for today guys. I am signing off. Keep watching and remember to work with this tutorial you have to completely uninstall code blocks and BS code first then try my process. Hopefully you guys enjoy that. Thank you.